Good morning, Rayfield. It is Monday morning. It's a magnificent, marvelous, miraculous Monday. We're always so happy when the weekend is over and we're able to get ready and get started with our week again. So our Monday morning prayer starts as follows. Yes, it's Monday. It's a blessed Monday. We thank you, Lord, for waking up us up this morning and starting us on our way. We thank you, God, for all of the beautiful and talented people that we will come in contact with today. And we pray, dear God, that this week will be a happy, a blessed, and a encouraging week to all of those who are here at Rayfield. Thank you, God. Amen. Good morning, Rayfield. It is a magnificent Monday. Well, we just got finished with our prayer. So I'm using all those beautiful M words, magnificent, marvelous Monday. We are going to have an exciting week. Today's the 16th, I believe, and we're getting really close to holiday time. It's the second week in November, and we've had some challenges throughout the year. However, that's gonna happen every year. No matter what our challenges are, we are going to be triumphant. We're excited, we're Rayfield strong. You know that today is Monday and on Monday we have art with Mr. Chevis. I want you guys to remember that when we are having art, we want you to do art and we want you to do the art that is programmed for you to do. So if we're drawing a house, for example, you should be drawing a house on your art project and following along with the teacher as he instructs you what to do. So as we go through the week, let's look at our schedule. It's a busy schedule. Art on Monday, on Terrific Tuesday. I believe that we have cooking with Mr. Anthony and of course I do the snacks. And then on Wednesday we have music with Mr. Glenn. And then we will have on Thursday, our physical education. And we have a new uh, physical education person coming on board. Hopefully I'll be able to introduce you to her soon. And we're going to be doing some line dancing. And that's why we've been showing you the different line dancing techniques so we can get ready for the holiday. And as you know, we're going to have a big, big Thanksgiving. We're looking at feeding about 5,000 people. There'll be a lot going on here at Rayfield for Thanksgiving and for the holiday. I want everybody to be very excited about that. So as we move through the week, we have a lot of great things going on. Let me tell you a few more things before I leave you today that are going to be happening this month. first exciting thing I want to share that's going to be happening this month is that we're going to have some more students on Zoom. Clifford and Wendell have fired up their tablets and we should be seeing them this week. We also should be seeing Stacy and Nikki Roman. Stacy King, remember Stacy? She was on with us um, daily, every day. And then I think that she had some technical uh, difficulties with the electronics so we're able to straighten that out we should be able to see Volvic, Carsley Dinnerville and Michael Rivera we'll be looking for them and also Alexander Chenard so that's like seven or eight people and Kayla forgot Kayla and Donald Metcalf that have received their tablets and they've also received some instruction on how to use their tablets. Sometimes, you know, we have a tablet or we have the electronics that we need to access the Zoom, but we don't know how to use it. So as we are learning, and you guys, I want you to encourage the other students that are learning and show them how to do it. Let's all work together. Because from what I'm hearing from the CDC and the health department, it's gonna be a long winter. There are going to be some more people who are going to get um, an infection of, of some type and it may restrict them from being able to attend school. So we need to help them. They are our family. They are our